Welcome to our Arizona Airbnb. Let me show you outside. Kiki. Hi. We brought little Kiki. She's very mischievous. It's so nice. We're on a little vacation. So it's just my mom and I. Yesterday we went to my manager's wedding. My manager since I was 16. My only management I've ever had. They got married to each other. Here's a little, cute little montage because it was the cutest, most beautiful wedding and I cried so much. I didn't know I had that in me, but I, I do. <laughs> My trigger is love, beautiful love. Anyway, what are you doing? <gasps> my mom is crawling. <laughs> you... Oh, you found me. <laughs> love you, Kyle and Matt, so much. Today, we got a very late start. We're gonna go explore. We're staying in Scottsdale. Yeah. We're gonna be here in Arizona for a little while because we're also celebrating Thanksgiving here. I guess I'll show you my outfit. I can finally wear these cute little overalls that I thrifted. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about it, but I'm comfortable. I don't really care. I'm on my period, so I'm not doing well. I think mood swings, it's great. So here's this, and then my top is from Brandy Melville. This bag I got in Florida for Rolling Loud because I needed a little bag for the concert, and it has been my favorite bag ever since. I just love it so much. It's the perfect size for everything. Isn't it from Forever 21? It's from H&M. Oh. And these are my new shoes that freaking Converse sent me. I got a package and they sent me the coolest Converse. These were one of them. What? Yeah. These are like the old school high tops, so they've got more cushion, and they're like, I don't know, it's like thicker. Love you, Converse, if you're watching this. Email me, baby. Maybe we can make something happen. Oh, my little superstar. My little weirdo. She's just a kitten. She's just a baby. Yeah. I don't think she's even phased. Wait. Wait, no. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> He's so sad. I'm gonna try this on because I don't, I need a jacket. This is from No Jeans, by the way. Yeah, that's cute, that works. Not only am I vlogging my day today, it should be really fun. I can't wait to explore. I love Scottsdale so far. But I posted this on my Instagram story. You guys definitely delivered. I'm gonna be asking my mom a bunch of different questions from you guys throughout the day. And we're gonna have a nice chat. Should we ask a question? Let's ask the first question. This is a good question and it's for you about me. I always wanted to ask my mom if she likes who I am because of course she loves me, but does she like me? Do you like who I am? Oh my gosh. That's gonna make me cry. Really? Of course I like who you are. I mean, I love who you are. I like like you so much. You're so much fun to be with. We go with the flow and I don't know, you just are so much fun to be with and your sense of humor is amazing. Thank you. You're like an example to me. Like you love everybody and you see the best in everybody. And oh my God. It's so sweet and special and it's such a good example to me. Thank you. That is I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Freaking good answer. Yeah, I honestly, I was thinking about it last night and I think I laughed the hardest. Really? I'm with you. Yeah. That is so Like funny. genuinely laugh. Aww. My best friend and will forever be my best friend. Let's ask one more question and then we will go to the first destination. How do you put a tampon in? I'm just kidding. Old Town Scottsdale, here we come. Well, my mom just told me what it takes to get a good parking job. She said I need the audacity and she said I also need nerve and a good vantage point. <laughs> so now I know forever and ever how to get a good parking spot. I don't know if I said vantage point. You did, you said. Well, I've got some good advice. Well, we're gonna walk around and see what we can find and we will show you what we find. Excuse me, um, hi, sorry. Sorry to interrupt. 
um, I have some very important things to say. Oh, we interrupt this program because we do have a sponsor of this video and it's a really great sponsor. Take it away. Misoma, my favorite jewelry brand. Everything I'm wearing is Misoma. I'll let you guys get back to your video very soon, but you need to hear this, hold on. Misoma's Black Friday sale is now live. Hi. <laughs> this is the only time you'll be able to shop their entire site 25% off because they only do it for Black Friday. Let me show you some of my favorite pieces. This bird has a lot to say. This is my Taurus Star Constellation necklace. This is a cute little cross, very dainty, very everyday wearable. I love these big hoops. Look how cool this is. It's a hand. So cool. My everyday rings. I think this ring is so beautiful. And I'm wearing this with an outfit that I would just wear every day. Me so much because you can wear it like outfits like this, or or you can switch it up and go a little bit fancier like this. I'd probably wear this to a fancy brunch with my girlfriends. Wow! So I basically kept the same jewelry, but I added this really beautiful necklace. It looks a lot fancier, right? Yeah. Also, while you're on the website, you can search my name, just Summer McKean, and my wish list and my favorite top picks will come up, and you can shop those. So whether you're self-gifting, shopping for your mom, your best friend, or even your brother, get your Christmas gifts early with a discount. I really love Misoma, not only because they have such amazing jewelry, but because they're on a mission for something greater. Their mission is to build a more creative, collaborative, confident world, and they want the people who wear their jewelry to embody that, which I think is really cool. I know I feel more confident when I wear their jewelry. I feel like a million bucks. Speaking of Misoma doing something more with their brand, they're for the third year in a row working with the really cool charity called Tree Sisters, where they plant a tree for every order. So not only are you getting a discount on really cool, really cute, very nice quality jewelry, you're also helping the planet. I don't know, if I were you, I would run the link in my description box. Take advantage of the Black Friday sale. Get yourself something. Get your homies and your mama something. Thank you so much, Misoma, for sponsoring this video. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Also, there's a man riding a pinata. Well, you can't really see him, but he's on his way. <laughs> Dang it, he's parking the pinata. Dang it. <gasps> oh, pinata. Oh, it's a cactus with eyelashes. This man is just, uh-oh. He saw my camera and now he's gonna call the police. <laughs> yes, I am getting my hair done. That's what I'm thinking. Next question. My hair is really something else. How do you know when to leave someone slash signs you're in a toxic relationship? Yeah, I'll answer this. If they're only thinking about themselves, like if they're doing you favors and being nice to you, but you notice that it's only because they can benefit from it or they get something out of it or whatever, that's very toxic and you need to leave them because they're a very selfish person for that and they're only thinking about themselves. They do not have your best interest in mind. They're not a true friend. That's no good. It. And if you see any signs of that, leave. And I've also learned from having three girls who've dated boys, it's so easy to give them the benefit of the doubt. And that's wonderful yeah. to do, right? Because you love them, you care about them, yeah. you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. But in the end, always comes back like, oh my gosh, I knew. I knew those red flags. I saw red flags, this is what they say, not me. I saw those red flags and I just swept under the rug, just gave them reasons why it's okay. Dismissed it. Dismissed them and kept dating them and then eventually had to break up. And it's even harder now. It's mm -hmm. harder to break up when you just keep dating and dating and dating. You gotta listen to your intuition. Don't make excuses for why you should stay with them because that is very, very, very easy and you probably will. If you love them, if they're easy to, you know, always call up, if they're always there for you, whatever, you're going to make excuses for why they should not be kicked out of your life. Don't do that. I do that all the time with friends and with boyfriends. I'm like, well, no, because that, that's just how they are. Or like, oh, well, they're learning. Mm -hmm. So, and that's fine. But why does, why do you have to be the one who takes goes, the brunt of it? Yeah, you why go not? through it all. And anyway, on that note, let's go explore. This kind of looks like Laguna. How does this look like Laguna? Cactus Jock. Do you know who Cactus Jack is? Travis Scott. Really? Is Travis yeah, Scott the one Astro World? Yes. Do you still like those deals? Oh yeah. I want that for my door. Dance it in. But what are, what are the antlers doing? Decorating it. Hmm. Hey everyone, quick little makeup tutorial. I'm gonna be using the um, Tarte Lippy Lingerie in Enticing. That did a lot for me, I think. I'm also gonna put it on my cheeks. Just found this sucker in my bag. Oop. <laughs> Oop. I keep gleeking. Every time I get something sweet, it gleeks. Actually, I like this store. Should we go in that store? 
I just had her take a billion photos of me, which is really nice because she will take a billion photos of me. And I want to. That's amazing. <laughs> it's so sweet. Nobody else will. Nobody. All right, we're going to take some more photos. This is a really cute place, actually, right here. We have another question. Here we go. Does life get easier? Oh, yeah. Really? Explain. Sure. Life gets easier because your wisdom increases. And with that wisdom comes like peace, just knowing that things are not as big of a deal as they seem. Learn to love yourself and accept things, you know? Uh-huh, that makes sense. I thought you were gonna say it gets harder because you have to deal with more and more stuff, but that makes sense because you have more wisdom. When you realize what's really important and what's not. Yes, exactly. Okay. Life is all about loving people, having experiences with people, and whatever those experiences are, you know that it taught you something. How do you find the right guy? You become the right girl. Ooh. You become the person that you want to attract, the type of person you want to attract, and he'll just come to you. You don't have to like go out and search for him. Yeah, um, my attorney actually, <laughs> she was at the wedding last night and she was like, my best piece of advice I can give you right now is stop worrying and stressing about the perfect guy. You should just be working on yourself right now in your 20s, having the most fun you can by yourself and with your friends, and then he'll come along. Because working on yourself helps you become the person that you love and you want to love yourself and therefore other people will love you and he'll just come into your life and love you hopefully who you are still waiting still waiting but I'm not so waiting young. you're still becoming yourself and learning about yourself and experiencing life and you want to have so much fun while you're single and unattached and gain wisdom yeah even though I want a boyfriend I shouldn't be like stressing everyone about wants it. love that's fine as well. I just love to be it's in love fine to want love but I'm not gonna stress over it it's fine live your life don't waste your time. Okay, look at this. Look at them go. Like, where are they going? <laughs> that is really cute. Oh, look at this. My mom and I talk sh about you. Um, let's get this one. Match. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've got some bold t-shirts here. Blondie, not for long. Burnett, just in case people can't see. I need a shirt that <laughs> tells everyone. What a silly store. This is extremely millennial Tumblr vibes. We have made it to the horse fountain. <laughs> no. Um, no. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm really hungry. We came to uh, Scottsdale Fashion Square. We've been walking around looking at um, Dior, Prada, Gucci, all that, are my favorite things. But I'm, a, I'm just hungry. I'm hungry and this is the place we need to go. We are need. <laughs> they have this in LA and it is my favorite restaurant ever. It's so, 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 so good. I hope it's the same restaurant. I honestly don't know if it is, but it's the same spelling. So I think it is. And all I want to do is sit down in that restaurant, eat the food, and we're just walking on the side of the road to try to get to it. Also, I went to the bathroom and I had to take my overalls off and one of my overall straps fell in the toilet and it got wet. Yeah, sure did. And I met a follower, I didn't catch her name, but I met a cute girl and it was her dog's 10th birthday and she's just hanging out with her dog in the mall. So that was kind of fun. You are all I want. You are the whole I need. Oh my gosh, we found it. This is the nicest little hello? No boo, okay. I totally forgot to film because I was just so excited about the food. So good. If you have a zinc, get label with grilled salmon. And their fries are very good too. These fries are really good. Sriracha aioli with sauce, it's really good. Do you like it? <laughs> yes, it's very good with chicken. Same thing, but with chicken. Well, a prosciutto board thing, but I don't really love prosciutto. <laughs> so fancy that they don't even have soda. Okay, it's getting to the end of this video, which can only mean one thing. I'm losing it. We must ask one more question to mother. <laughs> Let me look at my phone and choose a question to ask her. In the parking lot? 
Yeah. Would your mom tell you to get another boyfriend if she didn't like your current one? No, but I can tell when she does want me to get a different one. <laughs> I always support her, but... She always supports me, but like not as much. When I can tell when she does not like my boy that I'm talking to, she never asks about him. And when I tell her about him, she's like, oh, that's nice. Really? Yeah. Then, the, whenever I complain about him, that's when she joins in. <laughs> and she really hops on that one. So. <laughs> and then when I dump him, or whatever, then she's like, oh. Thank goodness, I didn't want to say anything. And I'm like, okay, well I can tell the whole time. Anyway, what was your favorite age? Wow. I think my favorite age was when I was in my 30s. I don't really have an age. In your 30s? In my 30s because I was a mom of young children. Mm -hmm. And it was super fun. I mean, it's really, really hard and challenging and everything, but it's also positive things outweigh the negative things about parenting. Had to be them. That's a cute answer. Gosh, some of these questions, you guys really went in. It's cool though, because that means you try me. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe, please. If I get 1 million more subscribers, my next video, I will bungee jump style. <laughs> can we get this video to 10,000 likes? Like this video right now. If we can get this video to 10,000 likes, then in my next video, I will text my crush and tell him I like him. In a clown costume. That's so sad. All right, guys, get this video to 10,000 likes. I'll Snapchat my crush in a bunny costume. <laughs> I mean, in a clown costume. That's so silly. I appreciate you watching this whole video. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you next time. Also, don't forget to check out Misoma. They have incredible jewelry. I genuinely love their jewelry so much, and their sale is amazing. Love you. Bye.